Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 973. And if you want to download this workbook 971 to 975, click on the link below the video. In this video, uh, we want to talk about Excel Magic Trick 536 and 761. In those videos, we talked about the mode.mult function, which is great for the mode calculation for numeric data when you have duplicates, because sometimes you have a tie for the mode. So those functions, that function started in Excel 2010 is great. But what do you do in 2007 or earlier when you don't have the mode.mult? Now, what is the mode? Mode just says, hey, tell me the item that occurs most frequently. So on numeric data, right? we could get one number, but there also could be more than one, which means there's a tie. And in this data set, we have a three-way tie. So we want to show all three modes. Now, there's two ways we could do this. We could extract a unique list using advanced filter and then use the COUNTIF function, or we could do a pivot table. Now I'm going to do the pivot table first, and then I'm going to show you how to do the advanced filter and COUNTIF. Now, data set, if I control down, you see I have a lot of numbers here. Control up arrow, field name at the top, uh, numbers in a column, I'm going to click in a single cell, insert pivot table, or we could use the keyboard shortcut Alt N V T. Alt N V T. Whoops. How about Alt N V T? Now I'm going to put this one on uh, this existing sheet right here. I'm going to put it right here in cell C11 and then click OK. So now I have my field list over here. And I simply want to take my date and put it down, uh, my data, which is the numbers, and put it down into row labels. That lists an exactly one listing of each item. That part in the pivot table is pretty darn easy. It takes a bunch of extra steps when you use advanced filter. Now, in a pivot table, we drag the number data down to the values. And it mistakenly will do some. But I'm going to right click, summarize values as, and point to count, because we're counting. That's what mode does. We're counting how many. All right, now I'm going to close this field list. And cool, watch this. I need to sort these and bring the biggest one up to the top so I can see which one of these, in fact, is the mode. I'm going to go to this row label, drop down, and not sorting here. I'm going to say more sort options. Absolutely awesome. I'm going to say descending because I want the biggest one on top. And I'm going to say, oh, let's sort on the count of data. This column here, click OK. And so I can see my multiple modes are 11, 12, and 13. Now, how would you do this if you wanted to do a formula? I'm going to click in the first cell, Control Shift Down Arrow, and then go to Data. And there's the advanced filter. In 2000, by the way, 2000, and kind of skipped over that for the pivot table. In 2003 or earlier, you had to go to the data menu to get your pivot table. But then you were dragging and dropping to the sheet. I can't really show you that here, but that pivot table will work. Um, so for 2000, any version before 7 and earlier, highlight the data set, Control shift down arrow. This is to get a unique list using advanced filter. Right? In 2007, you have to go to advanced filter. In 2003 or earlier, you go to the data menu, filter, and then advanced filter. And it opens up the same dialog box, which has been around for a long time. We want to copy this. No criteria, because our criteria is unique items only. I'm going to say copy to. And I'm very carefully going to click in cell. F11, and then click OK. And just like that, it lists a unique list. Now, I'm actually going to move this. Check this out. I'm going to use this the Move cursor right there, 1, 2. Now, one important thing that I should have said just a moment. When you're highlighting this and doing advanced filter, you better have a field name at the top. Because if you're highlighting just the numbers, you'll get a duplicate, because it'll think the first number is the field name. So you want a field name at the top. But notice it did a perfect data and uh, our numbers. Now I'm going to do count. I'm going to highlight this and do the uh, paintbrush. And uh, here I'm going to do just some color for the formula. Now we're going to do our count if. Count if. The range, 
click in the first number, control shift down arrow, and then F4 key to lock it, comma, and I'm going to say count everything in there. That is 11. Control enter, double click and send it down. Now I'm going to do the same trick I did with the pivot table, except for I don't have to go over to the label. I just uh, sort this column. Now our formulas will work because we have locked cell references and the uh, relative cell reference will work. You got to be careful when you're sorting with formulas. Sometimes it won't work. It'll mess up your formulas, but this one will work just fine. Either uh, right click sort or you can data and the sort button and then back in 2003 you got to go to the data menu. I'm going to say Z to A and just like that we get our Mo multiple modes at the top. Now, this is um, works 2007 and earlier for number data, but it doesn't matter what version you're in, you're going to have to do something different when you have a qualitative or nominal data. And really, the mode is built perfectly for this because there's no, a mode is a type of average, and there's no way to average these because all you're doing is counting the fills. What's 4 divided by four, 4? It's 1. So calculating an arithmetic mean is just impossible. It's physically not possible. So I'm going to do the same trick here for a unique list. I'm going to highlight the field name at the top. The keyboard shortcut in 2007 or 10 is Alt-A-Q. I, I don't think I can remember the one for. Uh, 2003. But anyway, uh, it's right there or under the data menu, filter, advanced filter, Alt AQ in 2007 or 10 for that matter. Now notice what it did. Advanced filter actually creates a defined name when you do an advanced filter here. And it's remembering the one from before. So I'm actually going to have to very carefully come over here and it's highlighted it and I'm going to redirect it. So even though we highlighted it because I'm on this sheet there's actually a store defined name called extract or uh, that remembers that, right? Cuz it's trying to extract some data. All right. I want to copy to there's my list. I'm definitely not going to F11. I'm going to say L. So I had to redirect a, f a bunch of things and then be sure to click Unique Records. Now I'm going to click OK. All right, so now I'm going to copy that formatting just with the Format Painter. And then do equals count if. I'm going to count in this range here F4, comma, one cell to my left, Control Enter, double click and send it down. So that's a good trick to know just. Um, because this is a different kind of data. The mode function or mode mult or any of those mode functions won't work on numeric data. And we can clearly see fill and chin are tied for the mode. All right, what to do in earlier versions 2007? Pivot table or with some count and sorting. Or we can do advanced filter and count if formula. All right, we'll see you next video.